Hello, I am Maya Wright, a poet, and today I will be performing a piece simply titled Mother. 24 hours to say thank you for the 8,760 hours of oxygen you provide. One day to clean the streets compared to the 365 days you sustain our lives. How dare we? Think this to be an adequate exchange when we attack you day in and day out at point blank range. Filling your oceans, rivers, and lakes with plastic, straw, and toxic waste. Forgive us, Mother, for we know not what we do. For taking your love for granted and turning our backs towards you. If we continue on this route, we'll ignore the final warning you give. Watching you take your last breath without ever reevaluating the way we live. We're destroying you. When we need to learn to coexist, maybe that means less luxury for us. But maybe that will lead to less of this panic, chaos, and social distancing. Now we're stuck in the house, outraged, just remembering how safe it used to be for us to take a drink from the hose in the summer. Now it's not even safe for us to see a friend or else our days could be numbered. How many boiled water advisories do we need before it counts as a wake-up call? How many low-quality air alerts have we counted or have we ignored them all? You're crying out for help before you service that eviction notice. You're dying and it can be felt, but our priorities are out of focus. When will the restaurants be up and running? That's our main concern. You sat us down to teach us something, but still there's no lesson being learned. And I'm sorry, on behalf of everyone here, that we treated you so harshly and neglected you so much over the years. So tell me. What is it we need to do if you grant us more time? See, I think it starts with each individual bridging the gaps between cities and keeping them in line. For us, that means no pollution in our rivers. And I'm open to suggestions if anyone begs to differ, but petrochemical build-out is a major atrocity. And I'm not asking for you to believe whatever I'm saying or just take it from me. Everything is public knowledge, but the public must first want to be knowledgeable. I'm begging for us to change our behavior soon, while the place we live is still salvageable. Reduce, reuse, recycle. This method hasn't been enough. Or maybe there isn't enough of us doing it, so now we're stuck between a rock and a hard place, searching for a greater resolve. I think the biggest hurdle for us to clear is that not everyone wants to get involved, and that adds to a grand complication. Is it that they don't care or they don't have enough information? Forgive us, Mother, for we know not what we've done. It's only now that we're trapped in the house, that we long for outside air and even longer walks in the sun. Forgive us, Mother, and it would be my hope we treat you better. And maybe that will put an end to 60-degree day winters and other abstract weather. Forgive us, Mother. I can't imagine how you feel to give to us ungrateful children who never give you enough time to heal. Forgive us, Mother. And no, I'm not asking you to forget. I'm asking us to get it together, or it will be something we all regret. Thank you.